Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It's a very bold, blue, purpley look. Um, it's very aquatic. I wanted to mix it up and do something different this time. Um, I hope you guys like it and if you want to see how I get this makeup look, please keep watching. Bye guys! So guys, I'm going to first start off by applying some tape onto my eyes as per usual. Then I'm going to be applying some adhesive or primer onto my lids just to make sure that my eyeshadow goes on smoothly, that the pigments are great and that everything stays in place. I'm going to be applying this with a small brush and then I'm going to go in with my fingers and blend everything out. Next I'm going to take my setting powder it's a MAC Studio Fix powder in the color C40 and I'm just going to set the adhesive. After that, I'm going to go into my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be picking up the color Tony. I'm just going to be applying that to my crease. This is going to be used as my transition shade and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush to do this. After that, I'm going to be picking up the color Gojai with my Morphe M505 brush and I'm just going to apply this a little below the crease. I'm just going to be building up this color until I get the right shade, making sure that everything is blended in perfectly. After that, I'm going in with the color purple. I'm just going to put it on top of the color Gojai just to have more dimension. Next, I'm picking up this blue shade from my Coastal Sense 120 palette. I'm so sorry this palette doesn't have any names so I'm unable to tell you what the name of the shade is but this is a very bright turquoise bluish color. It's very beautiful. The pigment is so intense as you can see and I'm just applying this onto my lid. After that I'm going to go back in with my 441 brush and just blend everything in making sure that there are no harsh lines. I'm going to pick up my MAC pencil brush, my 219 brush and I'm going to be picking up the color Cabernet. I'm just going to apply this to the outer V of my eyelids. Going back in with my MAC 5, sorry, my Morphe 505 brush. I'm blending that in. Back in with the Morphe 441. Just to make sure that there are no harsh lines or patches in the eye. So I'm going to remove the tape. That would be it for the eyes for now. And I'm going to move on to my face. For moisturizer, I'll be using Olay Regenerous Regenerating Lotion with Sunscreen SPF 15 and I'm going to be applying that all over my face and then I'm going to be going in with the Olay Regenerous Regenerating Eye Lifting Serum and I'm going to be applying that to my under eyes. To conceal my under eyes today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Warm Sand. I'm just going to be applying this to my under eyes my nose bridge and below my nose there always a little bit of redness there and I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend everything out Next up, I'm going to go in with my foundation and today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Caramel Beige number 108. And I've been loving this foundation. I recently started using it and it's amazing. It's very matte. It's great for my oily skin. 
like it sets really well it blends in very well I'm really enjoying this foundation at the moment so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out with my beauty blender After that, I'm going to go in and highlight my face with LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color natural. I'm going to be applying this in a triangular shape underneath my eyes, my nose bridge, forehead, upper lip and chin. And again, I'll be going in with my beauty blender to blend everything out. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Morphe M438 brush and I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder in the color C40. I'm going to be setting the areas where I apply concealer with this brush. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with my Real Techniques powder brush. Just to set, lightly set everywhere else that I missed with the setting brush. After this, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. I did an in-depth eyebrow tutorial, so if you want to see that, I'll leave the link down below in the description box and you can check it out. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Glow Kit in the Dark Glow. And I'm taking up the color Sunburst. I'm using a flat shader brush to apply this width to the brow bone just to highlight under my eyebrows. And I'm just gonna go back in with my 441 brush just to blend in those colors into my transition color. For gel liner, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Lacquer Liner in the color Black is Black. And I'm just gonna use a MAC liner brush to apply this with. Liner is so black and creamy, it glides on so smoothly. And one thing I noticed about this, I've had this for a while and it hasn't been drying out at all. It stayed really moist and smooth. Up next, I'm gonna curl my lashes. And for mascara today, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Hydrofuge Miss Manga Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm just gonna lightly coat my eyelashes because I'll be applying some falsies later on. After that, I'm gonna go in and take up the color Tony with my pencil brush, my MAC 219. And I'm just going to be applying this to my lower lash line. After that, I took up my really tiny small pencil brush. And I'm going to be spraying it with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I'm going to be taking up the 
purple shade from my 120 palette and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line as you can see this is a very pretty color it's very pigmented and I love how this color looks with the blue on my lid To brighten up this look, I'm going to go in and highlight the corners of my eye. I'm just going to be applying some primer. And then I'm going to go in back with the Anastasia highlighter in the color Sunburst. I'm going to be applying this with a small pencil brush, like this. And just blending in the colors together. The lower lash line and my lid color just making sure that everything is blended in perfectly for liner I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris infallible carbon black extra intense liner I'm going to be placing this in my waterline and I'm also going to be tight lining with this and then I'm going to go back in with my mascara and just coat my bottom lashes. I'm sorry that you can barely see what I'm doing here but I have to go really close to the mirror to get those bottom lashes. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and my NARS Eater Brush. I'm going to use this to contour my cheekbones. Also, to bronze up the rest of my face. So I'm just applying some to my forehead and then my jawline. For blush, I'll be using my Morphe 9B palette and I'm going to be picking up this kind of orangey burnt color and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones using my Morphe E4 brush. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to be mixing these two colors together, Sunburst and Bubbly. And to apply that, I'm going to be using my Morphe M501 brush. This highlighter is so beautiful as you can see how pigmented And I really love using this brush to apply it. It just applies the right amount. It just blends everything in perfectly. It's a really great brush to have. I'm also going to be highlighting my nose. For lips, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Lip Pencil in the color Staunchly Stylish. These lip pencils are very creamy and smooth. They glide on your lips so easily. Lipstick, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Matte Lipstick in the color Whirl. This is such a pretty color. It's a nude lip but a more darker nude lip and I found that this went perfectly with such a bold eye color. But you can also go with a bold lip if you want a nice 
bold dark pinky color would look perfectly with this as well now I'm gonna go back in with my pencil brush and I'm gonna be picking up that highlighter I used before the sunburst color and I'm just gonna apply it to my cupid's bow For eyelashes, I went ahead and used the red cherry eyelashes in the color Tilliate. I applied these lashes off camera, but I did an in-depth eyelash tutorial for you guys and it will be coming very soon in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. And for the last step, I'll be showering my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that's it for this look. So guys, that's all for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!